Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So we did a exclusive video over on Patreon. Uh, it was uh, you know a little touchy stuff, but again, we want to thank everybody for your support over there. Thank you so much, John, who is our newest Patreon. We appreciate it. Absolutely. There's still stuff that you can't talk about on YT as we've had stuff removed lately out of the blue. And, uh, you know, again, they're always trying to cover their tracks as much as possible. Uh, Cindy did do a channeling from the Galactic Federation that we're going to share with you guys as we go through the news here. Uh, this is uh, funny. Charging me for crimes. This is Netanyahu, by the way, over in Israel. Charging me for crimes in Gaza is like charging George Bush for 9-11. Well, yeah, while we're at it, might as well. Hey, why not, right? Um, we might as well line up the charges for every president that's still alive of pretty much every country around the globe because you all been in on it. It's pretty repulsive how open they are about the murders that they cause. The chaos. Uh, it's just horrible. It really, really is. Uh, he is so Draco controlled, it's just beyond obvious. But this is now the world that we're in. We're outside of the Kali Yuga. And while it might not feel that way for some, uh, we are outside of the Kali Yuga. What does that mean? Well, it's, it's all going to be exposed for what it is. Some will still choose to stay with the Dark uh, Matrix. They'll, they'll openly choose to stay in the Dark Matrix. But there's going to be others that go and and forge ahead outside of that dark matrix. And the dark matrix will not have a power uh, monopoly that it's had. Here you have Zelensky uh, using martial law. So he's basically in there uh, for the time being until we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see what happens because, you know, the one thing I want to get across is this realization that I've been having that... Um, it feels like they've, they, the Dark Matrix, the Cabal, the controllers, it feels like they've kind of screwed up. It, it feels like they've missed a window. Um, and maybe I'm one that's uh, too cynical at times and, and not overly optimistic or as overly optimistic as I should be, maybe. Um, but it does feel like they've really... Uh, they're losing control pretty fast, far quicker than they would like to acknowledge. You know, what I see definitely happening, though, is a lot of change in hands, a lot of change in leaderships and people heading out the exit door and other people are going to come in. Now, even if they mimic the person that just left, I, I think there's going to be something about them that is not going to be so, uh, they're not going to rule with an iron fist like they were before because they see that people are pushing back. So, I mean, if nothing else, I think the totalitarian tiptoe is uh, being a bit more careful because they realize that we do have power and what i like most about it is we realize that we have power we realize that we are not completely you know helpless that just because maybe you're at home alone you can do something you can send energy out you can change the world with your own energy we can all do that and that's something that they just cannot go up against no, because when humans are not dark age humans, when, when they're actually awakened, when their energies are activated, because most of the humans have been totally asleep for a long time, thousands of years, uh, most. But when we're activated, we become very, very troublesome because we have the power of co-creation and, and we start to recognize that we are co-creators. Hey, we don't need your belief structure because your belief structure is all about taking the power away from us. So as more people wake up and walk away from all the old forms of power and control, their whole reality just starts to crumble and it starts to be exposed for what it is, which is pretty damn ugly. And here you have uh, another tornado. We have uh, more massive damage. This is an 
in Iowa, we've had a lot of intense storms. And of course, they want to blame it on <laughs> climate change. Well, the climate's always changing, and we just changed yugas. So you're going to see a lot of natural uh, stuff occurring, but we understand too what is going on with the use of these different technologies. It's getting to be so overly exposed now that people are just, they know, they know, you know, you, you've kind of blown it. You know, your, your chance for keeping people in the dark, yeah, you're going to still keep some in the dark and some are going to still want to believe in Santa Claus, even though there really isn't a Santa Claus, you know, and I hope I didn't spoil it for anybody out there. But, you know, still, this this is part of the reality. It's it's hard to believe what people believe. As you see, these are wind turbines. Uh, it took out a whole bunch of windmills, completely uh, shredded. Um, again, this is between Carbon and Greenfield, Iowa. Very strong storms, very, very, very strong storms. And yet, you know, there's so many channels out there doing a, a great job exposing uh, the signals, the frequencies that are in effect. Even, even the radar itself can affect the weather. Everything can affect the weather. As we shared with you, one of our beautiful family members, one of our dearest friends, recently moved from uh, the Anaheim area and came to the country far, far away. And wow, do they feel better. And realize that the toxic soup that you have in the cities, all the EMF frequencies, that's the problem. That's the problem. The technology is the problem. The system is the problem. Your, you know, DR period is the problem because they've been brought up, everybody's been brought up under the dark system. Wow. Yuma County, Colorado. Look at this hail. Whoa, incredible. There, there is absolutely a lot going on right now. As we can see, Webb, Iowa here, as you see this fast moving hail fog. Creepy, isn't it? Reminds me of that old, do you guys remember the old uh, horror movie, sci-fi movie, The Fog? Way back, I don't know, was that in the 80s? I think it was. That was a creepy one. And we talked about those two quakes in Italy. Uh, it happens to be very, very close to Campi F uh, Falegri, which, again, is a super volcano that's close to Naples. Uh, so homes were evacuated. Many people slept in their cars on the streets after the strongest earthquake in 40 years. Yeah, it was just a 4.4, but it also depends on where and what, what else is going on in the area. There has been definitely a lot of magma movement, and there's a lot of movement of the earth. Cracks forming in buildings. Uh, this is kind of ominous. You know, there are those prophecies of, of the destruction of Rome, of the Pope fleeing, uh, of great earthquakes. We, we do feel like we're in that time. Uh, at the same time, it feels like the earth is doing her best to, to hold on. And the Galactics came through, and the Galactics were saying that Mother Earth is, is doing very well, actually. She is. She is feeling stabilized. The information that I took away from it is we all need to do our part in creating a symbiotic world within ourselves and within our own homes and, and kind of making our home its own little ecosystem so whatever you can do to uh, help things work synergistically have things work off of each other and do things a very natural way whatever you can do to drop drop the imitation and pick up something from the earth if if, if you need something for your health um, the the better off you're going to be so that was today's message mostly was create your own little ecosystem in and of yourself and just trust that that energy is going to spread but you focus on you yeah so again how do we counteract everything going on in the world well we know they want uh, more management more top-down management and they want more and more structure, more and more ability to monitor us and, and everything that everybody's doing. 
you know, it's interesting to see now that, you know, again, the military created the Internet. We, we understand that it was created by the military. You know, it's ultimately a DARPA thing. And now they say the Internet's disappearing. Uh, in fact, websites are disappearing at a, a, a huge rate, existential. The Internet's disappearing. A new study suggested as web pages, online contents lost. Uh, of the web pages that existed in 2013, for instance, 38% are now lost. That's huge. Almost 40% is gone. Even the newer pages are disappearing. 8% of pages that existed in 2023 are no longer available. They tend to disappear when they're deleted or moved. This happens on otherwise functional websites. So what's going on? We know they're erasing. Uh, anybody that does research and makes videos, you, especially of the type that we do, you, they are erasing stuff all the time. They're constantly erasing and rewriting our history. We understand that. There's still evidence out there. Oh, there's lots of evidence out there. You know, this is why they want to give more fluoride now because we're awakening too fast. Conspiracy theorists on a roll. And more and more people are saying things like, you know, the, the whole term. It just simply means, you know, people that are conspiracy theorists are people that get the facts before everybody else does. They understand what's going on. And the control system just tries to make you think that you're crazy. It, we're not crazy. You guys are losers and lunatics and you're evil and your time is done. And so as we wake up more and more people, we're going to shift this paradigm. We are. We are. They've they've screwed up. They, they didn't move when they had the chance and they're, they're losing their chance because now we are again outside of the dark age so and that's really all about information that means the light side uh has the ability to do more than they did before and that's where the changes are really occurring and in, in the higher densities that you can't see and even hidden from most people on earth right now uh, there are changes going on that are mind-blowing and there are technologies that are going to be given to us and are being given to us uh, that are going to change people's lives so again what do we have to do well work in small circles small networks take care of you and your family and you know work on your neighborhood as much as possible and and your own conscious bubble of protection over your home can really save you in a storm it really could because there's again entities that are out there that won't interfere unless they're asked to they're waiting patiently so if if you ask for help if you ask for guidance if you ask for protection especially like when there's bad uh, storms in your area etc it really might end up saving your life and and your your family's life belief 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 and asking those are some pretty important energies to call into your own energy field and when you tend to yourself when you tend to you in a really positive way and you connect with that higher self energy force you're really calling in more and more positive energy and it becomes more activated at the local level where you're calling it in so important to take care of the temple that's yet another reason to take care of you because you're protecting not just yourself but your energy is protecting your home and that bubble around you so that's where we need to have our focus and when enough of us get there then it 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 grows as above so below make no mistake they are a dangerous wounded animal that can cause a lot of problems and that's exactly what they are uh, as they are obviously you know truly uh, the beasts themselves instead of our cohorts here our, our pups our kitties even even wild wolves and coyotes and bears and other predators out there um, you know they're they're naturally predatorial but the system itself has been something so much darker than that in so many ways they are the predators of the darkest kind 
and they are being exposed. They are completely being exposed um, for what they are, as I noticed that many more uh, channels that I have followed are getting uh, unfollowed, unsubbed. So zero point energy, hmm, copper used to capture the energy vibrations, literally guide the energy of the ether or what we would call the ether uh, into the soil to boost the root production. It works, you know, because we, we put uh, copper on these rods and we put them in the four beds that we've had up for a while, uh, raised garden beds, and been plucking cucumbers like there's no tomorrow and I keep f missing one and being like oh there's another one that's a foot long I mean they're just huge and we were picking a whole bunch of tomatoes there's tons more tomatoes coming in we are gonna have to bre break out the pressure cooker and and do some canning um, and we just got a couple more raised beds um, on a good deal that we're going to be uh, adding to it and in going from there, you know, I have, I'll have a whole bunch of peppers coming in soon, too, which would be wonderful. Love salsa. Yes, never, never underestimate this world and what kind of energy we can pull in for ourselves. Yeah, the reality is, you know, you get one pepper. And how many seeds do you get? I mean, I don't know what's in there. At least 30, 40, 50, 60 think about that there's no need to be paying the type of money for the food that we are paying and when i was going through our bills i was like holy cow we spent so much and what is it it's all food it really is just food and it's because they've inflated the cost of healthier food healthier still not the healthiest because it's been a dark age in which they they want to shorten your lifespan they literally do uh, because they can't have you reaching an advanced age and using that wisdom uh, to help educate others that the system's not out to help you. So, you know, so many simple things. This is actually talking again about the church spires. Many people have picked up on this. And, oh, there's so many tech technologies that were in use in previous ages. Tartaria, again, uh, the guides... I think they were using that word for us because we've been talking about it so much. And of course, you know, it, there's a connection there to Atlantis, which then you're, you're, you are talking extraterrestrial civilizations that were here where you had ETs and humans together, for the most part, getting along just fine. And they shared with us uh, energy and information on how we can cultivate that for ourselves in very, very simple manners, in a passive manner. It's not like you have to constantly be cranking a wheel to get energy. No, you know, when you understand how uh, things go from the ether down into the four elements, and then you can utilize that, amplify that, guide and direct that, there's no reason for any sort of, of shortages on this planet. Every shortage we see has been cultivated by this system, and that includes the shortage of true intelligence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and I think it's really important to point out that, that shortages are an illusion. Shortages are a myth. To say that there are truly shortages for for us on the planet is is just you know, to say that source is not taking care of you. I mean, source has enough energy to continue to create for now and into eternity. So, you know, like, like Mike said, they really have been taking it uh, upon themselves to make sure that people are in a state of lack, that they feel like they're in a state of lack, and, and many people might feel they're in such a state of lack that they have to steal, that they have to do whatever it takes to survive. And sometimes that looks really ugly. And, and that's because of trauma. And that's all created by the control system that's in place right now. Absolutely. So this article is about the pyramids and location of the pyramids. Discovery may explain why the Egyptian pyramids were built along the long-lost Aramat branch of the Nile. 
You know, for one, many people realize the the Giza pyramids are extremely ancient. They're far, far more ancient than what we have been told. And in reality, they were put in place to help the Earth recover uh, after the explosion of Tiamat, an attack on Tiamat by the Draconian system. So, you know, they were put in place to help direct healing energies in for the planet and everybody on the planet yes indeed yes and they were actually brought here uh by again the galactic federation which is a very very real thing and again the control system wants to cause a lot of um distrust in the galactic federation by you know designating different uh names of light of worlds of planets etc 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 there's really just one galactic federation um that we know of and and the rest is all basically stuff that's being seeded in by the control system because they know you're awakening to this fact and they want to cause uh distrust there's there's so many reasons to have hope out there and the more we understand this control system the more we talk about it and the more people get it the more hope we're going to see absolutely and again they're they're not going to give up power easily Uh, but at the same time they are not going to be able to control the narrative like they've done so those of us that understand it's all lies and illusions we're going to have the opportunity to set up a new way in our in our own path. And again, sources within you. You don't have to be forgiven by any priest, by any, any official of anything, for anything. And many people know this inherently and never bought into, you know, concepts like original sin or any sort of dogma. Because you've always known just deep inside it's a bunch of BS. And you've just never been able to b- believe it in the first place. The pyramidal structure itself does have a, a positive uh, impact on the ability to draw energy again in from the ether and to send it down into uh, whatever is situated over. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I mean, there's there's just a lot there that we have not been exposed to, that we do not understand, that hopefully over time we will get that information out there so people know that there there's no lack. There's not. There is no lack, and we, we've shared this before um, with you guys, too. In ancient times, people came uh, to the pyramids for healings, and so there were healings done at the pyramids on, on a regular basis, and yes, we had uh, extraterrestrials there that were, were helping humans in, in more ways than one heal themselves from the trauma that we've been through because we have been through massive trauma the beings that were on tiamat and and many lives were obviously lost when when it was attacked and destroyed as tiamat the trauma sticks with us it does it sticks uh, through lifetimes it does and and it really you know when it comes to lifetimes that's where it does move itself into the body and energy work is very very helpful because a lot of times you can dislodge that energy and it actually leaves the body um but it it does take work it does take effort you know in anything that you can do to heal emotional trauma is going to help those energies release themselves and you're just going to feel better I think we're kind of in a world where people are starting to work on themselves now. They're they're really looking within and, and trying to figure out, okay, well, what's what's the deal with me? Why do I do this or why do I do that? And at least asking the question, trying to figure it out. I think the only thing we really have standing in our way is that lovely control system. Yeah, absolutely. So this is just talking about how you know the deserts weren't always deserts and in fact when you took when you do take a look at africa northern africa there you can see that these these areas were washed over by a gigantic uh flood and a flood of massive proportion and again they've used technologies to cause massive devastation and when they did bring the moon in place it did wreak tremendous havoc upon the upon the planet 
please explain to me why we have a white bright torch in our sky because the sun is changing and the sun changes more in each yuga than we've ever been led to to believe the sun uh, has the ability uh, to go through what science has given as the life uh, span of stars in reality what we're talking about is the cycle of the yugas in relationship to each of the stars as the sun is a star and the sun is responsible for being a relay from source of information to the planets and also in supporting the planets on their journey as well as as all of us that are having this ride together so you're going to continue to see the sun change and in fact everything about our environment is going to change and it's going to blossom and bloom and the oxygen levels on earth are going to rise the iqs the intelligence the health everything is going to go up 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 for those that don't buy into the system and don't keep putting those toxins into you so again try to be as self-sufficient as possible look for alternatives don't knowingly put toxins into your body again it's absolutely time to sober up and and time to get as sharp as possible and then you can face the day like these guys they're all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed I and mean, they're ready to just go knock it out and tear it up yes Look forward to your comments. As always, thanks for your support. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.